Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Something's a little different. I have gone a little to the dark side with my hair and I'm so excited. It's so different for me. I've just been blonde for so long that I have forgotten how it feels to have darker hair and I'm actually really into it. I'm still getting like used to it, but new hair. I wanted to sit down and do like my makeup and feel glam. Every time I do like my hair different, I always want to just do like my makeup and like just get into the zone. So today's video really doesn't have like a rhyme or reason. I'm just going to be doing my makeup with you guys, hanging out. Um, I am going to use like face products like for my base, things I've been really, really liking, really long wearing, nice lasting bases. Did I? What? I think you guys get the point. We're just hanging out. We're gonna play with some makeup. So let's get into it. Welcome to my face. So we are starting off with like our primer and base. I've been really into this. I'm almost done. I've had it for a long time, but I have been pretty much using this every single time I do my makeup. This is the Ole Henriksen Banana Bright Face Primer with Vitamin C Banana Powder Inspired Pigments. The first time I've read that. Don't know what that means. I'm gonna use it with a brush just so we're super sanitary. My skin's actually been getting a lot better lately. I don't have any like active breakouts right now. Um, my scars and everything that I had going on is going away slowly and I, I, I don't know what happened, but it's great. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I'm gonna use the same brush, get a little bit of that on there as well. My skin's kind of been more on like the dry flaky side, so I feel like layering these products really just helps my skin get plump and moisturized before foundation. I have a little bit of darkness under my eyes today. I look really tired. I did not get my beauty sleep last night. For foundation, of all the foundations I've kind of been like trying or just wearing in videos like the five times I've worn foundation in like three months, I just, I have to go back to this. This is the Urban Outfitters. I always do that. Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation. I'm using the shade 30CG, which is the G has, it means green, which means it has a little bit of like that olive base to it. And it's really hard to find fair light foundations that have that olive tone in it because I'm pretty green because Kermit's my dad and it's fantastic. So I really love this. I rediscovered it again yesterday. I wore like a face mask. I went to do my hair. I wore my foundation for like 12 hours, I don't even know what, and I didn't have any fading, I didn't have any creasing, my foundation looked really, really good for that period of time. I wanted to update you guys on something really exciting that I have never really spoken about. So tomorrow, technically, not when you're watching this, like in my time right now, tomorrow we are actually getting the keys to our new home. Uh, yeah, we closed today. And tomorrow we get to go get our keys and it's ours. It's our home and it is a beautiful home. It is a dream home. It's magical. It's a, like I need to pinch myself because I don't know how. I didn't ever think that I would be in a home like that. But I'm very excited and I will share more soon. But yeah. I thought I would let you guys know because by the time I probably edit and upload this video, you guys would have known on Instagram. But yeah, we are going to our new home tomorrow to get the keys. There's so much work to do before we like fully, fully move in. And <laughs> I haven't packed yet. Like at all. Nothing in my house is packed. I am not looking forward to it. I absolutely hate packing so much. My clothes, my makeup, like all the little tiny things in my trash closet, things like that. Like I'm not looking forward to packing away. So it's gonna be really, really hard. You know, we live in like a apartment right now. So getting big boxes and furniture like downstairs. I don't even know how we're gonna move out of here, but I'm, I'm just really excited and a little bit stressed. For concealer, this has been one of my favorite concealers I have tried in this like quarantine time. This is the Pat McGrath Sublime Skin Fetish Concealer in L3. It is like full coverage. You don't need a lot of this. A little goes a very long way. Actually, no, scratch that. I'm gonna contour first. I'm gonna go into the Tarte Cream Bronzer Breezy. No, in, okay, I can't say this. Seychelles, Seychelles. But this is what it looks like. I ordered this 
towards the beginning of quarantine off Sephora it took like a month to get here but I've been using this and I really like it I also recently tried the Fenty cream bronzers in my black owned beauty video which I loved and I'm also using that but today I'm gonna use this since I haven't used it on my channel yet all right so I'm gonna take a little brush and I'm going to map it out first this is a little bit more pigmented than the Fenty ones like the Fenty kind of blends out more natural more on the sheer side this one definitely leaves a lot more pigment behind i really like the color and it does look beautiful on the skin it doesn't look heavy and cakey i'm just going to use the brush i used for primer just to blend some of it out and then i'm going to go into my sponge to really just diffuse it yesterday i did my hair and it was also the first time in over a hundred days that i had anything to like eat and drink from like an outside like restaurant and it felt really weird um we first picked up some coffee from phil's coffee and they you have to order on your phone and then you just go in front of the store and they drop it off on a table you don't even go inside so that was really cool actually but oh my god that was like my first time getting an iced coffee from not my house <laughs> and it was like so odd but i enjoyed it thoroughly and then me and my brother picked up some Korean food from a restaurant and it brought it to my parents' house to enjoy. That was really nice as well. Felt so weird to be eating out. Like I, whew. And then the day before yesterday, I went to a market for the first time. I went to Trader Joe's and I did a lot of food shopping. Like I bought a lot of food. I haven't been to a Trader Joe's in like almost four months. So I was really, really excited. And I feel like slowly, I'm still being really careful and I'm still kind of like weary about going out and about, but I was really happy to kind of just be out and do like kind of normal things again, even though none of it felt normal. I could just say I've officially broken my like, I haven't left my house in like a hundred days streak. I did it guys, I did it, I left my house. Now I'm gonna go into my concealer. I like to do my contour first because anywhere that it looks a little patchy or too much, Going in with my concealer like cleans it up and it brightens it and then I can use whatever concealer I have left on my sponge to kind of clean up the contour. So if it looks like a little wonky, don't mind that, we will fix it. So I'm taking my concealer and I'm not going to use too much because you really do not need it. Even though it is like really purple under my eyes today, I really need a little bit more today. And I'm also going to do my nose. I'm not gonna do a lot on my forehead. I really don't need it. And the more product you put in areas that you crease, you crease more. It goes without saying. Okay, so I'm just going to blend this out. I love how this concealer like brightens. It has like a full coverage, but it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. In fact, it just leaves a lot of pigment, if that makes sense. So wherever you put it, like this is so amazing for brightening up the face i haven't been into like brightening concealers lately but this does such a beautiful job you know do you i'm, I'm confusing myself with the whole moving thing i'm going to probably be a little mia for a bit as if i haven't been mia for the past like three months on my channel and i like i feel so guilty about that but i look forward to like picking everything up again and just like filming a lot but I obviously will be moving and everything is going to get packed up and I don't know when I'm going to, you know, get settled into film videos. But the good news is I'm going to have my own beauty room, my own private room that is going to be just mine. So I will have like a whole setup with lighting, my camera, everything. It's going to be like in the works for a little bit. Like I'll probably just have a white wall behind me for a while. But I'm really excited to just make that room my own and hopefully the lighting and filming quality and everything gets like fantastic and I'm very very excited about that and I hope you guys are very excited because it's going to be a huge change for me and you guys. Before I set my face, I actually bought this from Ulta a few weeks ago and I wanted to try it out. This is the Flower Beauty Blush Balm and this is in the color Pinched. I haven't tried this before so I'm very very excited too. It's like a really pretty peachy neutral tone looks like that i don't know what the pigmentation is going to be like so i'm gonna take like a little stippling brush and i'm gonna tap Ooh, that's such a cute color and then i'm going to tap it onto my cheeks a lot more subtle than i thought i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and tap it into my skin 
okay. Do you guys see anything? I see a little bit. It's pretty, but I feel like almost like it's nothing. Maybe it's just like the shade is really light, but it blends into a very, very natural color. Like it's almost non-existent. Like you see it there, but once I kind of tap it out a little, you just see the tiniest peach tone. It does make the skin look very like youthful and like glowy, but we are gonna set the face, so that's gonna go away. Yeah, I don't know how much of that is picking up, but it is really pretty. Like if I was somebody who didn't set my face and I wanted the tiniest tint of blush, this would be pretty. Nothing exciting here. I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier Loose Translucent Setting Powder and I'm just gonna set my whole face. I'm not doing anything today. Just felt like putting some makeup on and hanging out with you guys. But like I said, tomorrow, tomorrow is the day. We're going to our new house. I hope Mia likes it there. We've taken her with us a few times when we did like home walkthroughs, but we don't put her down on the ground because they are doing like construction or just like doing flooring and stuff. So she's never really explored the house. We're always carrying her, but we've taken her a few times. So she recognizes like the area. She knows that we're going to that same place when we're on like the freeway, but I'm really excited. I hope she really loves the new house. Also, I don't think I like officially told you guys maybe i did i don't know but i actually do have a new wedding date um i actually decided like a long time ago like a few months ago i set a new wedding date it's gonna be next year which makes me sad that it's like so far into the future <laughs> but whatever you know everything happens for a reason we could not have seen this pandemic happening so i'm still excited but i do have a wedding date it's set we're good on that yesterday i used a little bit of the kylie you're perfect press perfecting powder it just looks like this and i used a little bit of it underneath my eyes just to kind of brighten i don't know if it really does anything i just kind of throw this powder on like my t-zone area moving on to bronzer i am taking this pure bronzing act matte bronzer and i have been really liking this with my zoeva 127 the brush I always use. It's very soft. It like builds really nicely. It just adds like the perfect amount of color to my face. It's not like super orangey or warm. It's just really nice. For my blush, I'm going to go into the BH Cosmetics Vanilla Cream Truffle Blush Palette, which I absolutely love. And I just basically mix everything together. We're going to pop some onto the cheek. I'm going to do some faux freckles. So I'm going to bring a little bit more blush onto my nose, kind of just like in this area. For my highlighter, I'm going in with my Nabla Cosmetics highlights. I'm going to go into Amnesia first, which is more of like a gold. I like layering these just because one is like more golden. The other has like a more pearly pop. So we start with gold, diffuse that out. Just like a little bit more subtle. And then I like to go into Ozone, which is more pearly. And just pop that into the center. And as you can tell, it just pops out a lot more but I don't like to like diffuse that too much just because it is more like pearl tone. I want it to look a little bit more natural. And then I like to bring that on my nose. If you guys have been following me for a while, you know that like I've been really into faux freckles lately and I have been using this for a really long time. And it's a Lime Crime Sun Kissed Freckle Pen, but they discontinued, they, oh, hello. They discontinued this a long time ago. It was, two summers ago maybe i don't even remember but yeah they discontinued this and i was like really really sad because i really like it but recently they came out with two new ones that are like two different shades however none of them are still like really this color this has more of like a ready tone to it um but they came out with coco and amber coco is more like brown amber still is a little bit lighter and has a little tinsy bit like auburnness to it. It's not like a cool tone brown, this one is. So I like to actually mix these two together just to get like a different variety of colors. But yeah, it's back, which is exciting. So I'm gonna start off with Amber, which is the lighter one. And I basically make a few little dots and then I will tap it in with my finger to make it more natural. This is all I will be doing for the next five to 10 minutes, <laughs> no, not 10 minutes. It don't take that long. Now I'm taking cocoa, which is the darker color. And I'm just adding a little bit of this just to add 
some dimension. Complexion is complete, looking fabulous, fantastic, flawless. Actually, it also occurred to me that I changed my nose ring and I haven't changed my nose ring in a really long time. It's a lot more dainty, small, tiny little hoop here. Simple, I like it. All about changes today. For my brows, I'm gonna take the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade three because I feel like this will match my brow hair color. I don't wanna go like too much darker with my brows, I still like the look of having like a hair lighter than like what my hair is actually. I kind of want to change the shape of my eyebrows too, but like I don't know what shape I want, what will suit me, or if I can like physically even do that. <laughs> I either have to like let them grow out to their full like bush capacity and just reshape them completely because yeah, I'm not like shaving half my eyebrows off. That is not gonna happen. I already look like a thumb most of the time, like at home without makeup, much less without half a brow. Not to say people with half a brow don't rock it. Of course they do. I personally just feel like I would not. And doing like brows is not my favorite step in my makeup routine. So spending like five times longer doing them because I shaved half my eyebrows off like would kill me. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Brow Endowed Gel and this is in Brunette Betty. It's just a little brow gel here. I'll run that through. That's different. For my eyes, I got some new stuff from Ulta that I ordered along with the Flower Beauty blush. I got the Flower Beauty Jungle Lights palette. I saw Kathleen Lights talking about this a while ago and it went out of stock, obviously. So I finally ordered it. I have used it. It's like a little bit messed up, but look, watch this. Look. They're, I can't tell if they are actually creams. Like, I can't tell, but they are very creamy feeling. Uh, they are beautiful. They're all metallics. We have that palette to play with. And then I got these tiny little elf palettes. I got the cream and sugar palette, which is like more neutral. And then I got the rose water. I think I want to like use both of these today to do like something really simple and pretty on the eyes. So let's get into it. I'm going to start off with like this little nude color here. And I'm just going to run this along the brow bone. The shadows are actually really pigmented in these little elf palettes. From the rose water, I'm going to take this kind of taupey cool tone shade. It's very pretty. Same brush. And I'm going to run this into my crease as our first little transition color. Oh, it's a lot lighter than I thought. I already had my morning coffee, but I feel like it's one of those days where I need to drink more. I need more coffee. So now, oof, the next jump is like this really dark brown. Okay, I'm gonna go like really light with it. I'm gonna mix it with the nude. So I'm gonna go like back and forth between these just so it's like not too intense, I think. That might work, hopefully. Tap it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease. I have like this really crazy to-do list in my head. Like I'm so scatterbrained. Not only do I have to like literally start packing up my whole house because I haven't, like I mentioned, but we haven't even like really bought new furniture yet because uh, we were like waiting to close and just make sure everything like worked out perfectly before we spent a lot of money on furniture and also where are we going to put this furniture once it comes. So um, we need to start ordering like all of our furniture and it's definitely not a small apartment. We have a lot of space to fill, which means you have to buy a lot of things. <sighs> and it's a lot. And I'm like actually really stressed out about that too and deciding like what style and like being cohesive. I'm not like an interior decorator by any means. So I'm also like a Libra, like I can't decide. I can't like choose one thing and just be happy with it. I'm like constantly second guessing myself. I don't even know if that's like a Libra trait. I feel like it is because like we're very, we're like a balance, but like we have a hard time committing, I feel like. You guys, I've heard like 5,000 different variations of Libras, so. I don't know anything about horoscopes, but I think I like recently found out that my rising sun is a Capricorn and my moon is a Taurus, if that makes any sense. I don't even know. Looking good, I'm gonna take a very small amount of this. It's actually not a matte shade, it has some like gold sparkle, but I feel like it might come off matte in the crease. And I'm just gonna like tiny amount right in here, deepen it up just a little bit more. Actually turning out more cool tone than I was trying to go for. 
By the way, if you hear like this little squeaking sound, it's my chair, okay? It's not me. It's the chair. You know? I'm gonna take this like champagne -y color and pop that on my brow bone. I wanna use like the Flower Beauty one for like my lid. Okay, we kind of like went cool tone, so maybe this color might actually be really pretty. I was kind of like hoping to go for like a more bronzy, smoky brown eye, but we kind of did that last time. So anyways, let's take this shade. It's called Wild. Oh, that is so pretty. I'm gonna tap it on my finger and get it really on there so it doesn't like fall onto my cheeks. Hopefully not. Oh my goodness, so pretty. I'm getting some fallout though. Wetting them might help it kind of stick and not have fallout, but you really like don't need to because they're so intense already. Let me use a brush on the other side and wet it and see what happens. So I picked a little bit up. I'm just gonna take a little bit of my MAC Fix Plus. You know, it actually goes on more pigmented with your finger. Like it's sparkly, it's just kind of metallic and muddy, but it's like really sparkly on this side. So maybe wet isn't the way. Maybe the finger's the way and maybe do your eyes first so you don't get fallout. So if you're gonna use your finger, then just use like a tacky base and then just tap it on top. I'm gonna go ahead and just add some shadow to my little lash line. I'm just gonna use the mattes in here and I will be right back. So to finish off the eyeshadow look, I'm gonna take this darker shade with an angled brush and I'm gonna do like a little shadow wing. All right, mm, are my wings even? Absolutely not, they are very distant relatives. Uh, now I'm gonna move on to mascara and I'm just taking my Too Faced one. A few goats. All right, you guys, lastly to finish off the look is the lips and I'm gonna go somewhere I have not gone in a very long time. And that is like plummy vampy lips. I'm gonna line my lips with the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Flattered. And then I'm gonna go over top with the Nabla Wild Berry Lipstick, which that is really pretty. But oh my God, I haven't worn like a purpley plummy lip in a very long time. I'm kind of excited. Let's see how that goes. When you do a dark lip, you gotta make sure it is perfectly even. Is that even? I don't even know. God, that was really nerve wracking. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a lipstick. Ooh. First of all, what an amazing match. Oh, oh my God, it smells like candy. I want to eat this. Wow, can all lipsticks smell like this now? I'm so tired of like that vanilla scent. This smells like candy. Mmm, like grape candy. Do they all have different smells? Hold on, I'm getting distracted here. This is a different color, it's called Metropolitan. Shut up. They have different scents, oh my god. What? I am so... Ooh, this one smells really good too. Okay, well, anyways, the formula is like amazing. So hydrating, wow. Holy moly, that feels really good. Okay, these lipsticks, bomb. These are, they, it came out with like their new collection. I forget what it's called, but they there were like three lipsticks, eyeliners, some palettes. All right, so that completes the look. Wow, this took a totally different direction. I didn't think I was gonna be doing purple eyes and like vampy purple lips, but it looks really, really pretty with the darker hair. I'm really feeling it. It's very cute. Complexion looks perfection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hanging out with me. Maybe you were doing your makeup alongside with me. Who knows? But thank you so, so much for watching. As usual, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Messy Jesse Beauty, Instagram, Makeup by Jesse, and of course, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do so before you go. And also, hey, hit that little bell so you are notified every time I post a new video and you don't miss out. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Oh, you're gonna lipstick on my teeth. Great.